Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So at the moment I am scalping GBP USD trade. I'm making over 700 euro profit and I'm waiting to exit this trade. So this trade guys was a signal from a signals group which was right here. The sale GBP USD trade which I took myself extremely late. Okay, after it was posted. Okay, after he posted the signal uh, I took it late because they you know uh, the signal was, was, having great, great, was showing great great signs of you know um, of bearishness. And what's happening now is that the price is, uh, you know, touching very important moving average. And whenever it does that, it tends to go up. So guys, in this video, I want to show you, share you and teach you how you can use moving averages, okay, to find the best exits for your trades, okay? Because whenever you place trade, there is a question, where should you exit your trade? Where should you take your money? Where should be that take profit level. And however guys, in this video I'm gonna show you exactly what you can use, free tool, extremely powerful, extremely easy to use. It really take you some time to master it because this is, but this guys is, is, is massive, you know. So make sure guys you watch this video until the end. Where is my bell? Let's begin guys. Hey, what's up guys? Right, so let's begin. So let's take a look at those that trade. So trade goes a little bit against me, but it's price GBP in USD is very volatile. Okay, price is dropping nice. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm looking at price action. So I should take my money right now, Andrew, right now. Why? Because price is touching my 50 moving average, which is this blue ugly line right here. This red line right here is. 200 moving average, okay, which is really really important pivot point which can be considered as our support or resistance breakout whenever the price You know if the price is above this it means it price is a bullish uh, if the price goes and breaks this uh, candle in this uh, uh, If the candle breaks this 200 moving average then price will go south But guys here I'm talking about this blue line which is 50 moving average, okay slow moving average 50 exponential is see and usually what we should do is whenever price, you know, breaks out, you know, and touches, breaks out, goes back down and touches this, it tends to go back, go back up for a short period of time. So I'm using some, you know, often I'm using 50 moving average, this line right here as my, you know, take profit level, which was this exactly what I told you during this video. And I didn't do it myself, right? Because I'm doing video, you see. <laughs> So whenever guys, uh, whenever we, whenever we see the uh, the breakout, okay, that which happened on the GBP USD uh, on large time frame. So let's take a look at four hour time frame. Uh, four hour time frame. So uh, what do we see in four hour time frame? Really simple, guys. So four hour time frame is large time frame, and we seen what did we see? We see breakout. What is a breakout? Breakout is whenever you know this was our resistance. Don't you agree that this is our resist resistance? This was the highest point, you know, on a four-hour chart, okay, in, in this medium term. And the, then, um, the, the, you know, the candle touched this one, and then a new candle opened exactly above. So that's it. The resistance means that the resistance is broken, okay, and it means the price is going up. Going up. But, but as we know, guys, if something is going up, there is always, it, you know, there is always a stoppage. If it goes up, it must stop, okay? It never goes up, up, up forever. It stops. And where does it stop? It stops at the, at the previous uh, highs. Where was previous highs? For that we need to take a look at the daily chart. And we see that the previous high was this particular level, okay? This is the daily chart, okay? Let me take the same ugly line again. And bring it down. And so you see what, what happened? Look, I didn't do anything, okay? What do we see? We see that this spike... You know, was our previous high, which was on the last December, exactly last year. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. But yeah, ex 16 December, no, no, it was on 13 December 2019, exactly one year ago. Okay, what I'm saying is that we should place sale trades from this point forward. But the thing is that it made a breakout, which was a... Uh, uh, it made a breakout, as you can see right here. See the breakout happened, okay? Two hours ago, uh, breakout happened. So what do we do when a breakout happens? We don't make sell trade, okay? We make sell, we make sell, yes, we make sell trade for a short period of time, okay? But what we do is, uh, what we do is we need to exit that sell trade whenever it goes back to the support, okay? 
Because resistance was broken. If the resistance is broken, it becomes our support. Okay, that we know for this large time frame. And that we can also see on a day, four hour time frame. So basically means that if it goes up here, okay, it goes down, it's gonna go down and gonna touch this. And then it's gonna, it's gonna go back up. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying, I think I'm late for, late for this. Yeah, I mean, oh, I lost like three, 240 euro. Because I didn't do what I just told you that I should have done. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, man. I just lost. I didn't lose because the price is very well. I did lose 240 euro profit, but the thing is this: that I know what I'm doing. Okay, I know that the price went up because you know, uh, because it's touching that support. You see, this is the support. This is the support. This was the resistance back in time, which was broken. When the resistance, is, when the resistance is broken, it becomes our support, which is this, this exact point. So. Uh, and from this point, you know, it can test. This is a corridor. From this point, from this point, it can test it, and then from this, it can. It only did test it. See this candle kind of 20 minutes ago, and it went back up. So, uh, yeah. So here we go. So he does. So um, let's go back to the five-minute chart. So whenever you place trade, guys, uh, use two moving averages. Okay. Uh, let me just delete this. So use two moving average, which is a 50 EMA and uh, 200 EMA. So, uh, so, and 50 EMA is great when you use 5 minute charts because you see when you see these breakouts, the price goes back and goes back up. Touches 50 EMA, goes back up. Again, touches 50 EMA, goes back up. Touches 50 EMA, goes back up. Touches 50 EMA, goes back up. And now what it is doing? It's touching 50 EMA. And is it going back up or not? Let's see one minute chart. Let's. And on a one minute, minute chart, what do we see? Tell me what do we see, guys? We see... Let me delete this line. Let me... We see that... Uh, 50 EMA has been broken and the price is comfortably, you know, uh, uh, jumping below it. Which happened exactly at 13.21 and this candle broke the 50 EMA. It means that the price goes down, goes back up, touches it and it can go back down from this point forward. This is when we talk about very very short period of time. So you see how you so how different time frames has to be used, guys. So you start analyzing from large time frame and then break it down. So uh, I need to wait, guys. I need to wait because when looking at this uh, the, at the momentum, my the momentum is quite healthy if you ask me. Okay, if the pr because price can go up here again and then it's gonna go down. Now, Andrew, where should be my take profit level, Whitey? Well, your take profit level, guys, again, don't overcomplicate your trading. So if you're making sell trade, okay, it means you make money only when the price goes down. So where should you take your money? You should take your money at the point when the price will start to go back up. Right? Simple as it is. And where is those points? Well, if it's our next, it's our support. So if the price goes down, until which point it can go down? Look at a chart. It can go down. It's, so let's take a look at a little shorter. Let's take a look at the one hour, one hour time frame. Okay, and we can see that this this point is exactly in this area. Okay, so you should take. I should have taken money already. That's what I was telling you guys. I should have taken my money already. Yeah, I'm losing money because I'm going against my trading. You know, the trading uh, trading plan, right? So here is. So this is my take profit level right here, guys. Okay. When the price goes down, it's gonna go down up here and then it's gonna go back up. So here we go guys, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of naked trading video, but please understand that... Uh, let me delete this... Um, yeah, so make please understand guys that... Um, uh, please understand that, you know, these the moving averages, okay, uh, are really, really important, especially if you use them on larger time frames. But make sure that you, you use, you know, 200 moving average uh, for your... 200 moving average, which is this one right here. For your uh, for your longer term period analysis, okay, because 200 moving average, 200 moving average will basically, you know, is going to be great, great support and resistance pivot point, and then you use this 50 moving average, you know, on smaller time frames to see where should you exit your sell uh, sell trades. For example, sell because I made sell trade in this example. It should be right here. Okay, guys. So don't overcomplicate your trading. Please make sure that you understand what you are doing. Uh, here we go. Trade goes. Uh, here we go. Trade goes. Uh, you know my way because as we saw a uh, one minute time frame, the price now is is touching that 50 EMA and it really wants to go south, meaning you know more money uh, coming in my way. But either way, guys. Okay, I should take my money in this 
uh, what is it, 3.5, I should definitely take my money at 1.35175, okay, uh, but uh, I would, it's better if, if, if I just take money in this, in this, this uh, 50 moving average, which is 3.5213, which actually already happened, okay, so yes guys, so always stick to your trading rules. Yes guys, if you guys also want to copy signals from a signals group right here and generate uh, and generate profits such as this, just this is just one single trade by the way, okay? Uh, you guys, welcome to join my academy. I will leave the link below the video, but understand that there is no magic in trading. Education and, education and practice is the key for long-term success. Also guys, please go to my website, andrewstradingchannel.com and get your free ebook. But guys, long story short, honestly, okay, uh, I, in next early next year, just after after the new year, I really want to start focusing more on stocks and trading stocks and shares and indices because guys, stock market is so volatile, it's crazy, okay, guys, global market has never been unexplainable as it is right. Like, look at these; these are my stock trades, by the way. These are my older stock trades, you know, for several weeks. My biggest one is Aurora Cannabis, okay, which I placed uh, when, when there was elections, okay. And alright guys, so after a little bit of time, I just want to show you uh, what, I, what what happened to the GBPUSD. So guys, I'm making 50% return on my investment from GBPUSD, one single signal. I'm gonna close it, okay. I, I'm gonna close as you can, because I can see the price, you know, um, price, you know, touching this very, you know, medium term support. And there is no guarantee that the price, you know, will go, you know, will go further down. So it's better to be safe rather than to be sorry. So one, two, three. Clock. Okay. Woo. Sometimes the broker wants to liquidate me. I know that. So guys, in one hour, 28 minutes, I was able to make 1,094 euro and 30 cents. So 52% return on my investment. So guys, for those who know, uh, so for those, for example, if you, if I was going to invest, uh, uh, again, if I was going to invest 5,000, okay, that would be that would mean around that would mean two and a half k. That would mean two and a half k thousand, um, you know, profits from one single trade, guys. Okay. So guys, here we go, guys. So, so uh, whenever you know, make sure that guys you understand that the better profits will come from the volatile forex currency pairs. And if you want to, you know, find more about those. You're welcome to join my academy, but yeah guys, please remember that education practice is the key for long-term success as usual, okay? And there is no magic. Thank you guys, and see you again next time, guys. Bye-bye.